proactively as a journalist and uh, what your fields of expertise are. Okay. Well, the first thing I should say is that I'm not a journalist uh, and I don't play one in real life either, uh, but I am the publisher for Mother Jones. Uh, this is Mother Jones. And uh, I've been publisher for the last two years. I co-manage uh, the organization with my CEO, Madeline Buckingham. Uh, I actually come out of a, a American uh, social change and nonprofit uh, background rather than from journalism. And um, I'm not sure if such a thing exists uh, in Italy or in Europe uh, to the extent that it does here, but uh, Mother Jones is this odd hybrid um, operation and that it is both a publishing organization, we put out a magazine and have a very active uh, digital publishing operation and at the same time we're a not-for-profit organization that has a mission uh, actually to change the world for the better. So we're trying to manage both uh, social change agenda uh, and a top-notch uh, journalism agenda at the same time. We try to fulfill our mission by doing uh, high-quality investigative reporting uh, that we publish both uh, in print and also online at motherjones.com. And uh, uh, we've been doing that since 1975. How has your activity as a publisher changed with uh, social media and new technologies? Me personally, uh, I can tell you that my reading habits have changed completely in the last couple of years. Uh, uh, I grew up in New York. Uh, I was raised in a family that had a, a daily newspaper delivered to its house. Uh, when I was growing up, there were six daily newspapers in New York City. Um, and so I read the New York Times every day. When I moved out to California, uh, I continued to subscribe to the Times until one day, about uh, two and a half years ago, I, I realized that uh, I was reading the New York Times twice, uh, once in print and once online, and that the stuff I was getting online was more up to date than what I was finding in the print version. And so now, most of my reading uh, news gathering happens online, whether it's uh, Twitter is my kind of main source of information, and my Facebook feed, and the Times, and of course Mother Jones, and then lots and lots of other folks who... Uh, uh, who are online only. Organizationally, uh, just as big a change in the last few years. And uh, it's been really interesting for us to go through a transition from what was originally a print-driven organization with a website on the side to what it is now, which is really a multi-platform publishing organization. The magazine is still very strong. We've had uh, steady paid circulation for the last five or six years. But the real growth in our audience has happened uh, in the last two years. Uh, and it's almost entirely been online. So um, I, I think it's fair to say that we, our heart is always uh, in the print uh, side of things. We believe there's a real important reason why uh, a print operation should continue. Uh, and at the same time, um, we go where our audience is going uh, and do a different kind of reporting online um, that really serves the people there. What is uh, currently your media diet? My media diet. Yes. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you about the trashy television that I watch. <laughs> so, not going to go there. So, my media diet is uh, uh, in the morning. Uh, I'll, I, uh, there are three sources of information I check on the Times, New York Times, uh, Twitter, and my email. And that gets me oriented for the morning. Uh, and then during the day, because of the work that I do, I'm checking uh, American political blogs. Uh, uh, Talking, Point, Talking Points Memo is a very important, uh, really great uh, blog uh, based out of New York that does uh, political coverage. Uh, that's a, it's a steady a part of my diet. Uh, and then there's just tons of other uh, political blogs that I, I uh, track, uh, although not every day. Uh, and then I'm also looking at uh, the main U.S. newspapers uh, online, the Washington Post, uh, usually the L.A. Times uh, from time to time. Um, the U.K. Guardian is an important source for us as well. Um, and then because of the work that we do uh, as a general purpose magazine, we have uh, 
uh, reporters assigned to cover food and agriculture, uh, climate and the environment, uh, reproductive rights and human rights, the American political system, uh, and then some international affairs and national defense issues. So I'm trying to like at least stay relatively literate on each of these uh, each of these topics. Uh, that's my diet. So it's more like yeah, it's more like ice cream and it's a lot of candy and not much of a diet. Mm-hmm.